Hi, this is Dan with QT Equipment. We're gonna take a very quick look today at a Chevy 5500 as a service truck. As you can see here, plenty of cab space. You can take your friends to the job site with you. You got some friends, got nothing to do that day. Come on, man, you can hold some wrenches for me. Get in the back. This is a IMT DSC 20 body. This does not have a crane on it, but you could put a crane onto this up to 20,000 foot pounds. We've got a Boss BA440 air compressor, toolbox, shelves. We've got a GetTech hydraulic jump start system on the other side and a pretty cool bed liner scheme. So let's check this thing out. On the front of the body, we've got aluminum diamond plate. And not only does this make your truck look great, but it protects the front of your body from rock chips and whatever else is coming at you as you're driving down the road. If you see a truck that doesn't have this on there, then over time you get little pits and, and rust points. This is a good way to protect the front of your body and just make it look tough. Another nice feature that sets this truck apart are the latches. If you're an IMT aficionado, and I've never said that word on camera before, I may never again, but you'll notice that these latches are usually black and now we've upgraded them to chrome. It's the same latch, but it looks better. We put aluminum diamond plate on the front of the body to protect it. What do we do on the back? Bed liner, just tons of bed liner. We typically are gonna bed line the top of the workbench bumper, inside the load space and the top of the side packs. That's our standard liner. We do liner in house so we can control the quality of our liner. And if a customer calls up and says, hey, I want something different, we can make that happen. Customers added bed liner on the back of the side packs and the uh, back of the workbench bumper here. It looks great. Paint shop's got these nice red steps, the red beat plate, and then these light boxes in black. This not only looks good, but is durable. Inside the load space, we've got two strips of E-Track on each side of the side packs. You do have the D-rings from IMT, and I have to point out that these are painted black. A lot of places, if you've got a red truck, these D-rings are gonna end up being red, but since we do everything in-house, the details matter, these are black. Sometimes you just have something that's awkward and you don't have a good space. These D-rings aren't in the right spot all the time. These, this E-Track gives you plenty of places to be able to tie off at. And uh, last thing you want to do is have something fly out of your bed on the highway, cause an accident, DOT problems, a lot of paperwork. That's no bueno. If you need some extra tie off points, these D-rings work great. And uh, so just can fit in there. You got tons of spots and they're super secure. I mean, this thing isn't going anywhere. Standing next to the headache rack here, just wanted to give a quick shout out to the team because this headache rack turned out fantastic. Over the years, we've typically built this out of two inch angle and expanded metal. It was fine, but that expanded metal over time can be hard to keep paint on. And we just wanted to express a little creativity here, put the customer's logo in it. This turned out great. We were able to do this with some in-house engineering, in-house plasma table, in-house paint, try to keep in all this stuff that we can in-house to be able to deliver some custom solutions to our customers. Turned out great, good job guys. What do they say? So much room for activities. Look at this back seat, this is great. You've got all this room back here for take some friends to work, you wanna take some family to work, maybe you're a first class kind of mechanic and you have a chauffeur that drives you to the job site every day. This thing can pop down, you can just uh, you know sip a monster in the back seat, read the Wall Street Journal when you're waiting, waiting to go to work, I don't know whatever you want to do. But most likely what uh, this will be used for is these seats pop up and you've got extra space for your testing equipment or anything that needs to stay especially warm, dry, and secure. And if you're feeling adventurous, you got a little time on the weekend, you could probably even pop these seats out and give yourself even more room. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick tour of the 5500 Chevy. Follow us on Instagram. You want to find out what we're building at QT Equipment, Facebook QT Equipment, our website QTEquipment.com. Work dirty, be happy. Until next time.